This is the pile I decluttered for my last decluttering video, and it is heading out the door, at least the donations, via my husband and my daughter, and it always feels good to watch that pile diminish and finally disappear. We have these boxes for trash day and this for trash day, and then everything else is gone. I have my emotional support cat here. <laughs> I've set a timer for one hour because I need to take my daughter to an appointment, but honestly, that is what works for me and my body right now. So we're going step by step, little by little. We're not trying to cure the world in a day. It didn't accumulate in a day. We're not gonna get rid of it in a day. This, what you see, this is the only decluttering that I'm doing this week is this one hour, but over time, it makes a huge difference. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to look around the basement for things that were brought down by others and weren't put away correctly. Are you ready? Let's get going. I had put this here the last time I did bottles and cans. So great idea, right? So someone explain this to me. <laughs> oh goodness, moms, can you relate? That was easy and a great place to start. I really want to make sure that things don't fall back into disarray like they did before I started decluttering. So I really feel like before I declutter each time, I'm going to be looking around and seeing what are the things that weren't put away correctly that I can deal with so that the basement stays neat and organized. I think you've seen these in my last two decluttering videos, so I need to get them bagged up so they can be taken to recycling. Sometimes the hardest part of deep text alert. Sometimes the hardest part of decluttering is figuring out where things are going to go. And it worked out so wonderfully to have you guys saying in my last decluttering video ideas on where those things could be donated. So do it again. If you see me decluttering something and you have a good idea on where that thing could go. I want you to put it down in the comment section and that way you're helping everyone. I'm kind of tying it up loosely because I'm hoping we can use the bag again after we empty these out. Leo keeps coming over here because I think he might smell an animal from the other side. Let's hope not. Here are the little stick chairs I got for my grandkids. So we were keeping stick chairs in here, which I'm sure we'll do during the winter for the ones that are outside. So I'm going to go ahead and put this adult chair that we're keeping in here. But the two chairs for my grandkids, I'm going to put those here on our shelf because it really does help me to have all the stuff that's for the grandkids on one shelf. Since I only use these when they come, it makes sense to have a shelf that is 100% for when they're visiting. I could always take these off if I had a little one visit us and then put them right back here, but it helps me just to have all their stuff here. Seriously, how did Leo get up there? Look at this. What are you doing, Leo? Oh my goodness, what the heck? <laughs> it's not a good idea. I have one of these cardboard boxes that I saved up my last declutter and I'm gonna go through here my husband and I, we've decided these are the paints we're going to use. These are the paints we're never going to use again. These are the stains we're going to use and never use again. So you can check in your area as you're decluttering your paints and stains to see if you have a restore, which is basically a goodwill for building supplies. And perhaps your paint and stains could be donated there. But 
as always, like I said, leave other ideas in the comments section. You could post it on some of the free cycle sites that are online that people that are looking for something could be using your things for free, especially if they're open. Probably wouldn't be able to sell them, I would imagine. Oh, this is brand new paint that I'm using in my bedroom. So that stays. This is from my bathroom. We'll keep that. This I'm no longer using. <laughs> this is a Spanish book. No, it's French. I love it. Oh yeah, this was Francoise. We do not need this, so I'll be getting rid of that. All right. <clears throat> A doorknob we will use. This is like empty, so I need my garbage bag. This is brilliant white we're not using. So some of these are old colors that we had and I'm just gonna put them in a box and then we'll decide afterwards. I mean, if there's this much in it and it's old, we'll just be putting it in the area at our dump where we're supposed to be putting old paints and stains. But if it's anything that can be donated, we'll definitely do that. Primer, stain blocker, keep that. Battery, keep that. Valspar. Ceiling paint, keep that. So it has to be Joe Max. Oh yeah, we use this to clean the house and I actually need to use this. So this stuff is great for getting the green off the house. If you live in New England and you get green from pine trees on your house, use this, but you wanna wear protective gloves, eyewear, the whole thing, because that stuff is dangerous. Bright white. Primer, keeping the primers. Sandpapers, keeping. What's this? Ready, set, I'm sure we're keeping. Yeah, see, I have gone through this before, so I'm not expecting there to be a ton. So we're definitely keeping primers. We're keeping, I have a custom color that Sherwin Williams made for us that I'm keeping, and then I have bare polar white that I use in my downstairs bathroom that we're keeping and I have a frost bare frost that we're using for trim anything else is going but I do know I went through this before rust-oleum base so if it's a primer semi-gloss yep this I'm getting rid of this was in my dining room well Oh, see, this is where it's hard. Do I just touch up the dining room first? The next time I paint the dining room, it's definitely going to be in the custom color. So maybe what we'll try to do is touch up the dining room this weekend, and then I can get rid of that because I can touch it up and give myself some time. But and these, this is deck stain that I just used on the deck. So and seal. At the very least, this should help us autumn brown to kind of keep all this in one spot. So we got the autumn brown is what I used Thompson seal on the deck, nice and dark, which I liked. And then the sealer. This is all my paint stuff. because it's quickly going to get heavy. More primer. This one's almost empty. I bet this isn't good. 
these never last. If you have a way to get caulking to not dry up, let me know in the comments. Okay, this is the frost. This is good to find actually because this is what my trim is, is the frost. And ceiling paint, bathroom upstairs paneling. Yep, this is also frost. This is an older can. So maybe I'll keep these together. Right here. Oof, that's a bad noise. And then ceiling paint to put it up here. And exterior paint, semi-gloss. I'm assuming this is a white. Let's hope so. So, so here's my semi-gloss. Here's my ceiling paints. So I'm gonna put those together. Then I could put my exterior up here. And then I can bring over, what's this? This is primer. Which can go here. Honestly, well yeah, it, whenever I do the dining room over, I would probably use a primer. Everything else is so light, I don't need a primer. Bin. This is bin, and I use this whenever, if you have water damage on a ceiling, this is a good thing to use over the water damage, and then you can go over it with your ceiling paint. And this is primer. Honestly, it feels hardened. Give her that. Funny, I thought I had more. Okay, now I need to move down here. Oh, wait. This is paint and primer, so primer, satin enamel, polar bear. Oh yeah, this is the bathroom. We'll put this right here. I'm going to need to get a Sharpie and it really helps my husband when he comes down and I say, could you get this color? He can never find the color, but if I put it in bold, black, he should be able to find it. So this is what I'm painting my bedroom. Pretty much what the whole house is gonna be at some point. And then I have my silver paints here. Then I have primers and outdoor and deck stain. This shouldn't even be there. It should be with my cleaners. This is our this is a spray paint kit. Oh, here's another one. What's this? This is, oh, this is the dining room. So we'll put that here. That's the dining room. Now these are the ones, clear gloss, protective finish, but this is for staining and I'm giving up staining. I really want to paint out my trim work white. Speckle, it's always a good thing to keep. So we'll put the speckle on top for us. Speckle. This is all we're getting rid of. And then I'm getting rid of all the stains. And my husband and I already talked about this. He is 100% on board. Plus, we always have them matched, but then sometimes you forget what you match them to, but they're so old. Like the, you can see, look how rusty. This actually might have even been in the house when we bought it in 2001. Yep, all this is going, all the stains. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 cans of stain that we have used over the past 20 years. More speckle. This box is going to be too heavy to lift, but it keeps it contained so that my husband and I agree that he is going, we have someone right now that we have hired to do dump runs for us. I'm trying to save my husband work, but when it comes to stuff like this, he charges us too much money, honestly, when we could just do the dump run or take it to restore ourselves or Goodwill or wherever it's going. So when it comes to out of the ordinary things, we definitely deal with it ourselves. 
but it just helps us with household trash that we have someone picking it up because where we live we don't have trash pickup all right so that just cleared off what is this power grab whatever that is we got this now the this is for the house but this is brake fluid for the car and the WD-40, I think is the car, this is a sealer. Get rid of that. I need to go through my spray paints too. Mildew killer, car wash, that's all stuff for outside. And I have a shelf over there for outdoor things. So this stuff is going to get moved. This is the entire box. You can see it was a pretty big box that is now full of stains and paints that we'll go through see if there's anything we can donate and the rest we'll bring our dump has a special spot for things because they deal with it correctly then I created this empty spot for this stuff and then all of our paints are on these two shelves these things and this that are all used outside, I'm gonna be putting on the shelf that I have near the exterior door and get them all organized there. Here is where I keep all of my exterior things and I see that I have this space above our blower. So I'm gonna be putting it on the shelf right there. This, I think we use it indoor or outdoor, but what I love is now, if my husband can't find something, I can say, hey, there's only two options. It's either over there on that shelving area or over here on this shelving area. Way better than any old random place in the basement where all the boxes are up to here. Good luck, right? So it's still a huge improvement, even though I don't always know exactly where to put something. So here we have the chemicals right behind the blower. The little claw I put here because this is outdoor gardening type stuff. And these things like this, I really need to start taking out and actually putting on the lawn and using them up. I just, they tend to just sit here. This was some double-sided tape. Oh, you know what we'll use this for? Actually, this gets used for the window kit. Hey, what do you know? When you start to organize things, you start to realize what they're for. So let's bring this down like so. That's better. And honestly, that's a watering can. So I need mean, that needs to come outside. In case you didn't know it, we do not have a garage or a shed or any mud room or anything to keep outdoor things. So our basement is 100% every piece of storage that happens in our life is stored here in the basement. All right, this needs to go with outdoor stuff too. This guy escaped my notice. Let's see what it is. Bear Marquee, polar white. Oh, okay, this is also my bathroom. I guess I'll keep it. This needs to be donated. I know I'm not gonna use brass. This needs to be with the outdoor stuff. This with the outdoor stuff. These go with up on the shelf. Oh, I was wondering where our glue guns went. See, I say, could you bring these glue guns to the basement? And they end up just right here, instead of in the craft box that we have. Well, at least I found them. Then I'm gonna start this small box for donations because I know outside the paint stain, I'm not gonna have a lot today and I don't wanna wait for a big box to get filled up. So I'm gonna use a small box so that it can still get taken this weekend. I'm going to quickly drop these in the craft box. Now I can organize the paint stuff better. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? This. Oh, oh. More. Yay. Get rid of these. We got more spackle. I'm gonna have to go through the spackles and see which ones are dried up, but I do not have time for that today. Something is always better than nothing. All-purpose cement. I don't know why it's in with this, 
but we'll put it here so we can at least find it. Then a paintbrush. There we go. And this tool for spackling should be with the tools. Paintbrush. And then this is the sprayer, which we have not used in years, mind you. So, but I can sense that would be better spent thinking about another day. The tapes, the sandpaper, the paint sticks. This scrap wood is going to be put with other scrap wood by the door. Keep the sandpapers. I do not refinish furniture as a hobby. I want to be that person. My fantasy self can rock that out, but <laughs> the real girl doesn't do it. More, I like these um, art brushes. I'll use these um, inexpensive art brushes a lot of time to do like trim work. All right, this my husband's. I'm sure this is trash. This we sometimes use when we're doing air conditioners in the window. These are his zip ties. And you gotta know. We'll be revisiting this at some point, but at least it's neater until we do that. It's everywhere. Look, more paint. Oh, it's empty. Yep, that's empty. It's everywhere, I swear. And then I don't even know what these are. Oh, these are like snake things when you have clogs. All right, look how we're getting an empty shelf here. This, I believe we will use. I just don't know where. But this is the color doorknob we're now using. I know I have some I need to replace. Can't remember off the top of my head. Again, this should be for the outside stuff. A charger we'll put with his stuff here. This is mail tape, packing tape. So you just kind of put it right there. And then this goes with the outdoor stuff. Now you know, I just have to see what's up there. Paint tray. Screws. All those little things. Yes, I'm piling it on his saw. But... Oh, these are for moving furniture. Alright, so... Down. All right, this was these Christmas light things that honestly rarely ever work. I thought we got rid of this. We didn't use it last year because I thought I got rid of it. Literally everything else is like car fluids. So for outside, and since it's in this handy box, I'm going to move the other chemicals to this box too. That works out good. And this is gonna go in that little pink box that I have for decluttered items. And then these I do wanna use, and I swear, if things just get put somewhere, I completely forget. So this is going to get put on this shelf, which is more my domain. Put this here in the bottom. Okay. Let's put some things away and then I shall show you what we did. We have more of our outdoor things and car things in that section. We have more of our scrap wood with scrap wood. We put things away that weren't put away. We have a trash pile and a very small declutter pile for today. Of course, the other declutters are gone and this will go out on Saturday when my husband does a special trip to the dump. These are the paints and stains I'm getting rid of. This is now so much more organized. Everything you need for painting 
walls and ceilings in the house. This shelf is nearly empty with just stuff here on the bottom. The empty kitty litter is gone. The cans are where cans should go, and yes, I realize I should get a trash can for these. It'll happen in time. I feel really good about what we got done, and this hour, remember as always that God loves you, and I love you too, and I really hope that this is helping to motivate and encourage you as you declutter and keep your home decluttered too. So I'll see you next time.